What if your fears aren't actually yours? What do you mean? Well, I came across this wild study from Emory University. They trained mice to fear the smell of cherries by pairing it with mild electric shocks. Okay, so classical conditioning? Sure, but here's the interesting part. The offspring of those mice who were never shocked also froze when they smelled the cherries. Wait, what? The fear became inherited? Yep, the trauma altered gene expression epigenetically, and two generations later, the fear response was still there. So what you're saying is that trauma can be passed down in our biology. Exactly, but here's the hopeful part. What's been encoded by fear can also be rewired. Like through therapy? Especially somatic and psychedelic therapies. MDMA and psilocybin can increase neuroplasticity and help to shift inherited fear patterns. I'm Dr. Tracy Kim Townsend. I'm a licensed medical doctor and a licensed psilocybin facilitator, and I help teach about the healing potential of psychedelics, especially when it comes to healing intergenerational trauma. Follow me for more down-to-earth education about psychedelics.